For the first time, Secretary of State candidate Diego Morales is responding to questions about his voting record. Yeah, Fox 59 State House reporter Kristen Escow obtained those records today and joins us live in studio to break down exactly what all this means. Kristen? Well, Dan and Birchelle, the documents we've obtained show Morales voted in Hendricks County in 2018, but at the same time was receiving a property tax deduction in Marion County, which can only be used on your primary residence. Now, they show Morales voted in the 2018 primary and general elections in Hendricks County and registered there under the address of a condo in Plainfield. That was when he unsuccessfully ran for Congress in the 4th District primary. But he and his wife had a home in Marion County, where they filed for a homestead property tax deduction in 2016. That deduction in Indiana can only be used for a primary residence. The Marion County Auditor's Office says that application was granted and there were no notifications the homeowners had moved, so they continued to receive that deduction. Under Indiana law, you have to vote in the county of your primary residence, not a secondary residence. Earlier, I spoke with a professor emeritus from Purdue University, Fort Wayne, about the findings. People make these mistakes all the time. They're usually fairly benign, and they correct them when they're brought to their attention. The challenge here is he's someone who, who is running for office, and it's the office that actually is the chief election officer in the state. Now, Diego Morales sent us a statement through his campaign. It reads in part, quote, The issue regarding my residency has been previously vetted in the media, and no wrongdoing was discovered then, and nothing new is being reported now. I followed all applicable state and federal election and property tax laws. Now, we should note there is no word at this point of any investigation by any agency over this issue. Kristen Escow, Fox 59 News. And thanks. We'll talk about that uh, this Sunday as well, coming up on this week's edition of In Focus.